Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, I'm coming at you with another video today. Uh, today I would like to talk to you about how to live sober and how to have that be enjoyable, not such a chore. Um, I guess where I would start is when you decide to stop drinking and let's say you've actually stopped drinking for a while, you know, a couple weeks or a month or so or whatever, and you've gotten a little bit of momentum. Sometimes you can kind of be like, you know, well now, now what do I do? You know, as I've stated in a lot of other videos before, um, it really helps to find something that will take up a lot of your time, um, whether that be a physical activity or an artistic one or, you know, uh, so something that you are just able to kind of like pour yourself into and dedicate um, and see progress and growth in and be proud of. Um, but I think at the base of how you learn to enjoy your sobriety is more of like a rewind you want to get back to what things felt like before alcohol. And for a lot of us, I mean, including me, I had forgotten what it meant to have fun without alcohol, you know. But what kind of has helped me think about it now is when you were a kid, when you were younger, things like if you knew you were going on a field trip or you're going to a movie or you were going to go to a forest or, or something, you know, you were just so stoked to just go do that. Because the event itself was was so enjoyable and was so amazing, like you just wanted to to go experience that. That's the goal is to get back to there. And what alcohol has done is it's it's muddied your mind to think that all of these things somehow have to be connected to alcohol. Once you get out of the world of being a, an alcoholic and like boozing all the time, you realize how little alcohol actually plays in the life of someone that doesn't need it or use it, you know? And like, uh, most of my friends, you know, still drink. I'd say like 90 some percent of my friends still drink, but it's not something that comes up w within regular conversation all the time of being like, Hey, let's, let's go drink. Let's go or let's get a beer. Or, I know you don't drink. Is it okay if I get one, this and that, like within normal drinkers, it's really not, it's, it comes up about as often as, you know, talking about, you know, doing the dishes or anything else, you know, maybe towards the holidays or if you're going out at night or, you know, there are, there are instances where it may come up a little more often. But what I'm getting at is that as you start to do more things, as you start branching out and finding different things you want to do, like going zip lining for the first time or just driving out to the coast or, um, you know, picking up a book you know, that you've been wanting to read or that you've heard a lot of people talk about or really trying to draw, you know, maybe you've always wanted to try to draw, like trying to just really figure out who you are as a person. That I think is one of the biggest parts of all this, you know, but as you do these things, try to view them for what they are and it don't view these things as activities without alcohol. They, they are just their own things that in and of themselves should should bring you joy and happiness and as you do these things you grow and you feel better for doing these things so sobriety um or actually I'll, I'll break off a little bit really quick um one thing that always kind of steered me away from wanting to ever really attempt sobriety was a lot of sober people i had met and it seemed that every single activity they did had to somehow revolve around their sobriety and that seemed so weird to me, you know, like it, it seemed like something that I wouldn't want to have in my life. I wouldn't want everything to revolve around my sobriety. Whereas the same thing in the opposite direction where I was okay with having everything revolve around my alcoholism and granted I wasn't calling it alcoholism at the time. I was just saying that no matter what we did, I had to have a couple beers in me and I wanted to get a couple drinks. I mean, it could be like, we're going on a hike, big. Like, well, better grab a, a hiking six pack. You know, like nothing we did was without beer. If we were going to go see a movie, we were going to get drinks before. We were going to sneak beer in and we were going to get drinks afterwards. Everything revolved around the drinking. So to get sober, you know, like I, I didn't want every single aspect to revolve around sobriety either. Really, I think the goal should be to just live life. Get to a point where you are now just living life. You're you're not hung over anymore and you have energy. You know, you you just want to experience more. And if you're feeling like, well, I don't know what I want to do, then you need to just start shooting in the dark and find something until you like it. Because you really start realizing 
when I used to drink, I used to think like, God, time flies. I mean, sorry, <laughs> let me rephrase that. I used to, you know, think there was so much time in a day, you know, I would, I would, you know, wake up and I'd have a couple beers and we walk around my apartment trying to figure out what the hell I wanted to do if I didn't want to do anything, if I just want to sit around and be a fucking lazy piece of shit and just drink until I had to go into work. And, you know, I'd wake up and be like, oh, cool, it's nine. I, I don't work till six. I have nine fucking hours to just be a total lazy piece of shit, you know, and I felt, it felt like it was so much time. When you get on the flip side of it and you're sober and, you know, you, you wake up and you just realize you have this this day ahead of you to do things, when you set out to actually do something other than just drink, because drinking is so readily available, it's not, it's not like you have to drive anywhere, or do anything, or have a, even have a meal before to prepare for it, you know, you just crack open something, you start drinking, and then you're doing that activity, you know, but when you start doing things and filling your life with other things, you realize how little time there is in a day, and those days just start flying by, and then you just start realizing, holy shit, like, Time really does fly and you start really appreciating that, that phrase because next thing you know, you're going to want to start doing more things and not having time for all of those things. And that is really the healthiest spot you want to be at. That's when you really start appreciating life and you start getting a, a solid understanding of how fleeting all of this is and how you don't want to waste it by just drinking all the time, you know? And so it's, to enjoy sobriety is to just enjoy life, to get out there and live your life and appreciate and respect how, how quick it can go, go by, you know, and, and that's just talking about if you live out your full life, you know, you could just walk out with a fucking car could come right through my sliding glass window right now and wipe me out, you know, so you really never know how long you got, you know, and so in a way to you know, to drink consistently like that, to be an alcoholic is, is the most disrespectful thing you can do to yourself, you know, in the long run, because you look back, not only do you not remember most of it, because you probably were blacking out or browning out, or, you know, you've repressed some of the, the guiltier things. Um, you've, you've just wasted it, all of it. And for, for what? Because we were too afraid to really dig deep and, and assess why we're self-medicating, you know, um, so really, I guess the, uh, the point that I'm getting at here is that in being sober, your life does not now have to revolve just around sobriety and sober things and, and have, uh, you being sober be the basis of everything. Like internally, yes, you, you are, you are sober throughout everything you do. And I'm sure that you juxtapose yourself, you know, just like I do in a lot of situations, you know, but, uh, against the, the former you or, or what a certain scenario might be with alcohol, but those thoughts are fleeting and they get fewer and further between, you know, and it, if you're going to go do an activity, I would just encourage you to go do the activity and enjoy the activity. You know, um, I've noticed mostly, uh, once again, this is all my own personal experience. Um, a lot of the people that I've met that have, sobriety be like another sober day five years later kind of a thing um they're usually through a 12-step uh, program you know which if that works for you wonderful but i've always liked the idea of getting sober and drinking be something you've done in the past and now you just go live your life and do other things that for me has been the most solidifying and foundational thing is Finding things that I like doing now besides drinking and continuing to do those things and pour my time and energy into those things. And, you know, you, you realize you won't really have space in your life for, for being an active drunk or an alcoholic or anything if, if you consistently do those things and if the want to not drink is there, you know. So, um, yeah, I, I guess the, the bottom line message of this would be to, to enjoy your sobriety is to just go out and enjoy life, you know. And... Um, like I've touched base on in other videos, it, I wasn't just a, a kind of like one timer, you know, or like just a weekend warrior, or I just drank a little bit too much when I did drink. It was a consistent commitment to myself to wake up and drink as much as I could, um, with, you know, every single day and whether I blacked out or not, what it never came into play of, 
when when I should stop drinking. It was just drink and drink and drink until I, I woke up the next day and continued to do it. So that happened every single day for me. And for me to get to a point in my life now where I'm talking about my, you know, journey through being sober and how I can enjoy it and how I can try to help others. Like it's, it's it, mind blowing. You know, I never thought I'd be here. Um, so April 2nd is going to be my, my two year anniversary. So we're, I mean, we're like six months out, uh, right now, something like that. Um, and in that first year I did count the days a lot, but after that, after that first year, I mean, that's, that's when I feel like the, the big training wheels are kind of ready to fall off, you know, and, it shouldn't be so much about counting the days anymore. It should be more just like, go, like I've been saying, go out and just enjoy your new routine. Um, find it, set goals and challenges for yourself. Have long-term plans, have midterm plans, and have short-term daily goals, you know. And um, that's, rather than chasing pints, chase goals, you know. And it, it's, it's just as addictive, but in such a, a much more positive manner, you know, because you, you start racking up these accomplishments and you have the love and ad adoration of your family and your close friends. And before you know it, you know, cause you might not know how many people are really watching you and paying attention to you, but there are a lot. And especially even if you're slightly socially active, uh, or, you know, through social media or anything like people are watching you and you may get to the point where people will start asking you like, Hey, like I've heard you haven't drank for like six months or eight months or a year. Um, how did you do that? And before you know it, you're telling other people how to do this. You know, it's, it's such a trip, you know, and in no, in no small way am I saying like I'm an expert or anything because I have a year and a half sober, but I do know that, um, this was the time that it worked like for, for the reasons that I've stated in this video and previous ones, it, it is just stuck, you know, and it's not a, a daily grind because I have removed the temptation of alcohol, uh, through, um, I guess you could just call it like a consistent, uh, consistent, uh, new laying of a pattern in your mind. You know, you, you tell yourself consistently I don't, I don't want that. I know where that leads. I don't want that. I want to do this and just know that you're always going to come back to there. There, there's never going to be a point where you're going to responsibly drink. You know, if you can admit that to yourself, then you can admit that drinking is not an option and that you shouldn't even play with it anymore because, you know, responsible drinkers aren't sitting there searching YouTube, like for sobriety videos and alcoholism videos, you know, they don't even think about it. It's, it's like, have you ever sat down and thought, Hey, I might be addicted to M and M's. No, it never even crosses your fucking mind because you don't wake up every morning and start thinking about M and M's and eat M and M's all the time when other people aren't eating M and M's. And then people are like, I think you eat too many fucking M and M's like that doesn't come up, you know, um, for, for that, for people that don't have a problem with that, you know? So, um, I guess, uh, I guess I'll wrap this up. Um, but I, I think I've said in previous videos, but, um, I'd like to maybe just kind of consistently end with it. Now, if you have any questions about my journey or what, you know, just about sobriety in general, um, you can message me or comment and I will answer to the best of my abilities. Um, um, I'm just a dude that lives in California that learned how to get sober on his own. And I just want other people to experience that same thing as well. So I hope you're all doing uh, really well. I hope those of you that have chosen to not drink are, are still not drinking and know that it does get easier. It does get better. Your life will always get better when you stop drinking. I guarantee it. And you'll always thank yourself. You know, even if you only have this week of sobriety, you look back and you're like, damn, I got that week. You know, it, it just gets better and better with that. Damn, I got that month. I got that year. I got five years, you know? So, um, and that's, that's where you, you honestly, you stop thinking about not drinking so much because you start living the rest of your life. And the next thing you know, it, you start going like, I guess, I mean, yeah, I'm an alcoholic. I haven't drank for six years. You know, I, I just don't think about it a lot. And that used to always weird me out when I, I met people that and like, oh, I haven't drank in like, I don't know, 10 or 12 years or something like that. I'm like, how the fuck do you not know that? 
And now I get it because you just don't think about it as much anymore. You're just living life and you just, it's just a fact in your mind somewhere. You just know you don't drink. You don't have to run through it every single time in your mind anymore. It just becomes a knee jerk reaction. Like if you fucking hate cilantro, you just know not to ask for it on shit. Like, do you want cilantro? No, no, I don't want cilantro. I'm fine. Nope. You know, so it's, it's the same thing. Oh, can I offer you some? Oh, I don't drink actually. I'll have a nice tea or whatever. You know, it just, you don't even fucking think about it anymore. So, and, and it's because you're enjoying your life. You're enjoying your sobriety and enjoying sobriety is just enjoying your life. So, um, yeah, any questions or anything like that, uh, please feel free to message me or comment uh, down below and, um, I'll respond to them as best as I can. Otherwise, uh, I'll see you in the next video and take care. Peace.